Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue with Windows Update, failed to install the following update, and then the message is 0x800F0986. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do here will be to open up the start menu, type in troubleshoot, best result, check them back with troubleshoot settings, go ahead and just open that up. Select additional troubleshooters on the right panel, and then you want to go and select Windows Update, resolve problems to prevent you from updating Windows, and select run the troubleshooter. Okay, so once that's done, close it here. Now you want to open up the start menu, type in CMD, best result, should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now I'm going to have a couple commands in the description of the video. The first one I'm just going to actually type out here. Second one you can just paste in, but we're going to run the first one here first. So just type in SFC space forward slash scan out how it appears on my screen. Hit enter on your keyboard. This will take a few minutes to run, so please be patient.
Okay, so it did find corrupt files and successfully repaired them. I will run one more command before we go ahead and restart our system. So just copy that from the description of my video here. It's going to be a DISM command, so just copy that. And then go up to the top bar of this command prompt window here, right click on it, select edit, and then select paste to paste it in. Hit enter your keyboard to begin running this command. It will take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and close out of here. And you want to go restart your computer. And there you go guys, simple as that. So pretty straightforward process. Do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.